hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're watching this video for the first time if this is your first time on my space thank you so much for engaging this is your own teen time here i can't thank you enough for all the support and love yes yeah, so without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> time yeah i'm going to introduce to you people how i thought i would get hiv and just as a side just like i'm just going to be telling you a bit of the occupational hazards that we medical doctors see in practice that nobody talks about it was my it was i can't remember the call but it was not my first call in pediatrics it was one of those calls when you know things were going smoothly as planned i'd given the night medications everything was just under control usually they wheel patients from chair to the ward so this patient came in from chair to the ward and then we had to set line for the patient so um um, and when my registrar had to, a patient just came in from the one location. Okay, was like, okay, I should set the line and everything. So I went ahead, sorry, hair is entering my eye. Fine girl, fine girl, it's not, you know, it's not an easy thing. I need to see. <laughs> so I went to set the line. So, um, um, before setting the line, so everybody knew it was an IVD patient. I knew as well. So I took the precautions while going to set the line. So in the process of trying to flush the line, something splashed into my eye i didn't know whether it was water whether it was blood or whatever it was but shy was connected to the cannula that was inside the blood vessel of this patient i just started uh, freaking out and then as soon as that happened i just dropped the uh, cannula i was holding removed my gloves told the patient to go back to bed <laughs> and when we come the next day we we'll set the line i was disoriented i was not myself in any way as in i was having a panic attack it was literally the worst day of my house job so i was crying i was disorganized i know this kind of thing like the, the patient now came in and after the patient there was no one else to take care of so i had the entire night literally to think about my life i tried to watch a movie and everything but it didn't work the call was calm basically <laughs> all nights but you know it was a very calm call so i had a lot of time to think about heaven and earth and hell and everything in between so it was a horrible night for me so when i slept and i woke up i thought it was only dreaming for me to wake up there was this strong pain in my chest i was like god this is how i'm going to get hiv so i woke up that morning i managed to give morning medications i informed my registrar about what happened she now told me to go to the hospital pharmacy and see if i can get prophylaxis basically antiretroviral drugs so hmm I went there. I went to the pharmacy. The pharmacists were treating me like I was not even a staff of the hospital. Story for another day. So it was just a whole lot for me that period. So luckily for me, I bumped into one of my lecturers in school because I did house job the same place I went to school. So I bumped into him and he was like, ah, what happened and everything. So I told him everything that happened. He tried to encourage me. He told me how to go about it. And that was how I got the medications. Hmm. So I started taking the medication. Before I started taking the medication, I was hearing all manner of things. Some people said that if you take the medication, it will make you high. Or how her friend that took the medication was making her high. Like she just feel high. Like the same way people used to feel high when they take cocaine or they smoke weed. That she just feel high and happy for no reason. Some people said it was going to damage my liver. Some people said it was going to make me sleep. All manner of whatever. So when I took the medication, when I started taking the medication, the medication itself is not a happy thing to take. No medication is actually a happy thing to take, maybe apart from vitamin C. But the medication was huge. Yeah, it was huge. And it had this smell. And the fact that I just have to take something for HIV every day just made me feel bad. So I was shocked to take the medication. I took the medication for the complete 28 days. The process of taking the medication was not easy. I was taking the medication and then I think I felt sick in the process. But any other weird symptom that people said that I'll have, I really didn't have. But I know that I felt sick in the process of taking the medication. So I had to now treat myself and all that for the sickness. But I got better. It asked me to be consistent every day, but I think I skipped like two days. <laughs> No, 
know it was not me trying to run away from my responsibility i genuinely forgot i was just tired and i genuinely forgot so i skipped like two days so but i stayed again i was like oh god god dear that's it again please let's not be anything what happened to me so i just continued taking the medication again so um i continued my posting after pediatrics i did surgery i had a lot of needle pricks internal medicine was the king of needle prick the occupational hazards that come with this medicine we're practicing is something that people have to talk about i think we have the most occupational hazard because sometimes like, before you even discover this patient is carrying a contagious disease you have to take care of that patient you have to manage that patient that patient has to go for tests and it's due down sending the patient for tests you have to touch that patient and all that so it wasn't easy at all in, in internal medicine i met a lot of people that had hepatitis b it was so scary um the hepatitis c is transferred through sweats even sweats body fluids can get you hepatitis so it was really 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 scary so but luckily for me i had taken the vaccine hepatitis b vaccine please if you're watching this video and you have not taken any vaccine do me a favor and go and take the vaccine at least that's the one you can see hpv vaccine is also available if hiv had the vaccine i'm very sure i'm proud a lot of us will take it as well especially us in the professional setting i said i wasn't going to check my status until i was done with house job let me know that I've rested once and for all. And luckily for me, I checked and it was negative. And after this process, I got to understand that um, needle pricks, which um, these medical professionals can actually get HIV, the, the mode of transfer that is the highest is sexual intercourse followed by vertical transmission that is from the mother, a pregnant mom to the baby she's carrying. So yeah, I hope that somehow this video encouraged you um if you're in the healthcare system because we we are the ones that have a lot of occupational hazards that no one has told us about and if you happen to be someone that just graduated from medical school and you're watching this video um just know that you're going to encounter a lot of occupational hazard especially during your house job so and your practice in general and also do your best to stay protected yeah if you're also watching this video and you're probably hiv positive or hiv positive I think you also have a role to play. You also have to tell your healthcare professional that see you, I have this, so that we don't further the spread of these diseases. And also do well to take your medication. It, it's not easy. I've been there where I had to take medication. It was really, really difficult. But for the sake of others, I think it's fair to actually ahead to your medication if you have any of these diseases. Then if prevention, you don't know your status at all, please know your status your hiv status your hpv status easy to check so just go to hospital and just check for your hiv and your hpv status and know your status so that you are not at risk of spreading an infection to someone else so please if you enjoyed this video please give this video a like a thumbs up comment on the chat box below to share this video too it might just help someone who knows thank you so much for staying to this extent watching to this extent um i'll see you in my next one bye